to the Tao of Self-Confidence, episode 280. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today, before I introduce you to today's guest, I'd like to inform you that today will be the last show for the year. We'll be taking a small Christmas and New Year's break, and we'll be back on January 2nd, 2017 for more amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. So before I start, just want to say happy holidays and looking forward to the new year. Today, I have a phenomenal lady on the show. She's a dancer, a choreographer. She's also a Nike fitness trainer, and she's also created a dance fitness class that empowers women. So I'm really just excited to have her on and share her story with us today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Sheena Vera Cruz. Sheena, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. Hi, Sheena. I'm really excited to just join you girls and um yeah, thanks for having me. And basically, yeah, what I do, as you mentioned, I'm a, a dance choreographer. I've been pretty much just traveling half of my life with just that. I'm traveling all over the world, teaching women through movement, music, travel, and dance. Now I've also gone into fitness. Dance have pretty much opened a lot of doors for me, aside from just being a performer on stage. So it, it got you know it got me doing you know hosting and uh, uh, speaking to you know other women about what I do. So yeah, which is pretty cool, I guess. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Sheena, what's your cultural background? I'm actually a full Filipino. I I was born in the Philippines. But after my first birthday, my parents migrated to Guam. And I've also I've also lived in the Micronesia. But because of my parents' work, you know, we've pretty much just traveled everywhere. We were based in other places. And so my my background, I guess, has just been really everywhere. <laughs> so I'm but I'm I'm full Filipino and yeah, just been based in Guam half of my life and I've also I've also you know, live in the Philippines and done a few work there as well. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? I think that would be just understanding that every setback is your opportunity to come back. I've actually just, you know, read that just a few weeks ago and it actually just really hit home for me. Just understanding that with whatever challenges or struggles that you go through, you take that as an opportunity to, you know, just rise up again. And yeah, that's that's basically like a, a quote that I've pretty much been taking in to myself. Awesome. And I love that quote. You know, a lot of people when they feel like they've been beaten down, um, people forget that, you know, once you go down, there's no way el- nowhere else to go but up. So, you know, we all go through bad times, we all have to go through dark times, but it's how we react to them that counts how we take action and in life that makes us stronger and build this character. So I really love that quote that you mentioned. And you know, in your own words, how would you define self-confidence? Well, with self-confidence, I see it in different levels, you know, like in in general, you know, like confidence. You could be confident as a mother. You could be confident as, you know, a professional woman. You could be confident in your own career. And and you could you could place confidence in in what you are comfortable with. But I also see confidence in other than just seeing yourself as someone strong or pow- you know or, or being in a state of power in a way of coming out somewhere vulnerable and coming out of some type of weakness like what i mean is like say when you when you in terms of confidence i see confidence in, in the person who's who allows themselves to be weak who allows themselves to be sensitive at a situation and vulnerable because i think it takes a very strong person to actually identify those feelings and go through all of that and go through all of those challenges and say, you know what, it's okay for me to fall. It's okay for me to be weak. It's okay that I'm going through this and and sort all of those feelings out, you know, and and it takes a strong person to actually put their self out there, you know, and that's, that's where I see confidence. 
I love it. And it's true. Sometimes, you know, especially being women and being Asian women, it's like, we're not allowed to be vulnerable. It's like we've been told never to show your feelings, never to show when you're sad or mad. And we forget that it's okay to do that because, you know, when we can be more vulnerable and show our weaknesses, other people can relate to us and we can help them along the way as to how to overcome it, how to deal with it. Um, but it first starts with that awareness. So I really love that definition that you, you mentioned because it does still take courage to just share somebody that you've fallen or you, yeah, you've, totally. you've, you've made a mistake or, or, you know, you're vulnerable. So love it. And, and what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? I've gone through so many transitions, you know, in terms of, you know, in terms of confidence, there's, trust me, there's a lot of times where, you know, I don't feel good about myself, I wake up and I was like, oh my God, I feel like shit, I look like shit, you know what I mean? And, and even days before where I feel like I was having the best day of my life, you know, and I, I think it's just understanding that you go through these things every day. Things are not always perfect, but then at the same time, it's like allowing yourself to go through this and then when you understand that, you know, you take it to the next level, you know, and in terms of like transitions or, or in terms of saying like, how was my life then? You know, I, I think I, I can't really say like, okay, now I've, I'm, I'm finally found or I can't say like, oh, now I'm like better than, you know, like I'm, I'm the best at my, my, in this point of my life now, because I know that, you know, today I'll be good, but there will be a lot of changes and 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 i think it's all about evolving and it's all about trans transformation and i think like i can't i can't really say to myself where i'm i'm done like i'm 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 good at this situation because i want to keep on growing i'm i'm all about growth and i want to allow myself to you know actually make mistakes or you know learn something new and that's where you know i I, I find myself saying, you know, hey, you know, like I'm, I'm having the best day of my life because I all I know is, is I'm a lot better than I was yesterday and I'm not staying stagnant and I'm always pushing myself to move forward and to grow. So in terms of, um, you know, saying like, like, are you better now? You know, like I've gone through a lot of setbacks in my life. I've gone through a lot of situations in my life where, you know, I, I thought I couldn't push myself through, you know, but then I think it's just really allowing myself to go through all those feelings and and allowing myself to evolve. And, and that's where, you know, I, I oh, and also self acceptance. That's that's one of the most important part in, in a person's transition. Thanks for sharing that. And I think, you know, we all go through many transitions and setbacks, right? And some of us feel like we can never get back up. It's like, you know, we go through one difficulty and it's like the end of the world. But you you mentioned you seem to go through so many setbacks. I mean, each setback that you go through, is there like an aha moment in your life when you realize, you know, you can come up and get out of it and become stronger than ever? I think in every setback, the next day, it would always be an aha moment, you know what I mean? Like, it's always like, oh, I get it now. Like, I know why I went through that, you know? Like, I know why I was going through that shit yesterday, you know? Or I, I know why I've, I've lost that in that situation or why I failed in that situation. And like I said, you know, there will always be aha moments. I think it's just about really being open. And like, like I said earlier, it's about just allowing yourself to grow. And that's, that's where like aha moments come in. Like just last, actually just like, you know, like me coming here to the Philippines, you know, I came from, cause I was, I was based in Dubai for a year and I, I went through, you know, be prior to that, I, I made that big leap to move to Dubai because I was like saying in my career now, like I need to take it to the next level. So I want to move to another country and, and take my career out of my comfort zone. And I had a lot of expectations at that situation. And then the first few months when I was there, I actually went through a, a company that like, you know, was not paying me for, for a few months. And, and also, you know, everything that we've we've gone through in, in the contract, it's like none of that was ever followed. And, and I just had a, you know, I my passport was um was withheld from me. And I was living in a country where I, I did not have any friends. I didn't know anybody. I did not have any family. And I was pretty much like held hostage, <laughs> you know, in in and the company I was working with. And that for me, I was like, how the hell did I get myself into this situation? Because I've, I've pretty much managed to to set my own brand, you know, and, and in my head, my expectation, I was like, I, this is, you know, I want to take my 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 brand or myself, my career into this next level. And then I end up in this situation, like, what, what did I do? You know, like, what did I do to deserve all of this? You know, and 
when I went through all of that, I went through a legal battle. I pretty much won the whole battle, but that really took so much of you know my confidence. That 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 made me question my ability, my 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 own identity, and and、um, what I can do and my dignity. And it got to a point where I was like, I'm I'm you know gonna go back home and. Try to start a new slate, and then it's the start make me think like, what was the whole purpose of that? You know, because I've I've had the expectation that my career was actually gonna gonna be better than how it was, you know. And but then I I start thinking like, you know, what what was the purpose of of all of this? And then when I went back. You know, to the Philippines. You know, I left. I left the country at that time because I, you know, I had. I was thinking like, you know, the Philippines would not have anything for me at this point of my career. And but all of a sudden, when I came back here, it's it's funny because I was only supposed to be here for just a few weeks. I told myself I'm only gonna be hanging out in the beach and you know, like. Giving myself a vacation because of what have happened, but then、um, after that, like a lot of doors have been opening to me, doors that I thought wouldn't open before I left the country, and and I was like, wow, this is a、uh, you know, this is something that I didn't expect, you know, and and I I guess like after what have happened, then I you know, there's a situation like there's a situation where now like I'm I'm trying to talk to also other. Younger dancers, where I said, "Hey, this is the situation. This happens, you know, to artists. Yeah, you know, they go through all this bullshit outside of the country, and you really got to make sure that you know you you take care of yourself as an artist. You know your your own worth, you know, and 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 you 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 understand contracts and all of that. And then now we're you know the first time ever here in the Philippines, we're trying to work on a some type of dancers alliance. And you know, the, just to make long story short, in terms of setbacks, making it into Your opportunity to come back, you know, this was like I said, me coming back here was not. It was not part of my decision, but because of what happened throughout the whole year, coming back here, it gave me the opportunity to actually give that, you know, share my story and give a voice to other artists and other dancers about understanding their own worth as an artist. And I, I'm taking that opportunity now, and I said maybe that is the reason why I went through all of that. I went through a legal battle, and I I went through a bad boss, and I I was held hostage for a little bit <laughs> in, in Dubai. So so that was my aha moment. Like even something like that was like my aha moment. It's like ah, I get it now. You know, I'm I'm gonna stop putting myself down. I'm gonna stop telling myself like like oh my god, I was a uh you know like I was not good enough. You know, and this is the reason why I was treated this way. You know, it's like gotta stop this pity party. You know, and what are you gonna do about it? You know, you share your story, and and somehow inspire other people and make sure they don't go through the same thing. <laughs> you know, so that's pretty much、um, you know taking that opportunity and you know understanding more of your purpose. I love it, and you know. So many, you know. I'm sure being in Dubai by yourself, you know, being an only girl and not knowing what to do there, like I'm sure it was scary for you. And most people would probably just kind of play the victim. And you know, you ask the right questions. You know, every situation I know that I go through, I always ask this one question: you know, what good can come out of this? And when we change the way we ask things to ourselves. That's when you know the universe or whoever you believe in kind of shows you that path where like this is what you're meant to do. I've always believed when one door closes, another one opens, and you know we go through these situations because it helps us build more character in ourselves, helps us believe in ourselves, and become stronger. And you know, to the woman who's listening to your episode, she may be in her own journey of self confidence. What'd be that one tip you would give to her? I think no matter what, at the end of the day, you have to just stick to your own gut. And accept yourself, and understand your own worth and your own value. It's okay to to you know have expectations. Sometimes having you know, when I say having too much expectations, sometimes could could hurt you. You know, because there are certain things that you have no control of. But at the end of the day, if you know your worth, that means you have standards. You know what to take in. You know when to say no. You know because you understand. You know your value. You have standards. So, in terms of、um, you know sharing that to other women, then a day, no matter what happens, know your worth. Thanks for those awesome tips. And Sheena, if our listeners wanted to connect with you or get to know a little bit more about you and what you do, is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with? Yeah, I'm on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Sheena Vera Cruz. That's、um, S H E E N A V E R A C R U Z. I also have my own personal website. Ashinaveracruz dot com. So 
if you want to connect with me, have a little chat with me or whatnot, you know, just send me a message, drop a line. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And to our listeners, if you also want to connect with Sheena, you can also head on over to the thetowofselfconfidence.com and search for Sheena's name. Her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about. And I just want to thank Sheena, who is an awesome name, by the way. <laughs> for, yeah, I love your name too. <laughs> <laughs> for taking the time to share her story with us. You know, it's an amazing story that you shared. Thank you so much. Thank you, Sheena. It was an honor having you on the show. And to our listeners, as I mentioned before, today is our last show for the year. We will be taking a small Christmas break, but we'll be back on January 2nd, 2017 for another amazing episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. So happy holidays, have a great new year celebration, and we'll see you on January 2nd, 2017. Talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of the Tao of Self-Confidence. Want to learn how you can use podcasting to market your business? Download your free report by visiting our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.